Hi guys. In this video, we're going to be learning about reducing unwanted energy transfers. We'll learn about lubrication and streamlining, thermal insulation, and finally, a summary. So let's talk about reducing unwanted energy transfers. It's important to try to reduce energy transfers that go into unwanted energy stores. That is, not going into the energy store that we intended them to do. Let's say we give a device some total input amount of energy, then the idea is that we want all of that energy to go into the function of the device. And the energy that goes into the kind of the function of the device, we would say was useful output energy. But on the other hand, some energy might go towards other things that aren't the desired function of the device. And we would say that some of the energy has gone into the wasted output energy store. Now the problem is that if a lot of the energy that we put into the total energy is ending up being transferred to the wasted output energy store, then we're going to actually have to put in even more energy so that enough is actually transferred into the useful output energy store. Now we've seen that when an object moves, it loses energy to thermal stores as a result of friction or air resistance. And this would be a movement of the energy into a wasted output energy store. We can minimize these losses using things like lubrication or streamlining. Let's first talk about the methods of lubrication and streamlining as a means to reduce the amount of energy going into the wasted output energy store. In any system involving motion, there's actually at least one force involved in resisting that motion. For example, this box moving to the right with some velocity. Hey guys, to continue watching this video, and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCSE physics and combined science videos. Just click on the snap revised smiley face. Join me today and let's make physics at GCSE a walk in the park.